welcome to my channel. My name's Chantel. This is my basic journey. I'm currently in the Ouachita National Forest in Arkansas. It's very beautiful here and I kind of figured I would just bring you along with me today. I kind of do a day in the life. It's kind of one of those like off days where I don't really have anything planned and I'm just kind of hanging out and I'll probably just explore this little area I have here. Maybe even do kind of like a what I eat in a day kind of thing. It's not going to be very exciting though because I actually ran out of propane so the only thing I have is my small little butane camping stove and so I can't do anything very exciting as far as like good meals go but I'll show you guys what I eat. I feel like people really like it when I do what I eat in a day videos. Um, however, I kind of just eat the same thing every single day so I'll kind of mix it in with a day in the life. <laughs> But you can come with me. You guys already know the first thing I'm going to do. It's early in the morning. I just woke up, so I'm going to make coffee. I'm trying a new creamer, too. It's this Khalifa Farms. Is that how you say that? I don't even know. Better half coconut cream and almond milk. Yeah, I would give it a 6 out of 10. And only because it's a plant-based half and half. But other than that, like I really prefer the silk creamer. They just didn't have it when I went to Walmart. Just look at this for you guys. I'll show you guys more later, but... Like, what? This is a free campground. A free campground with a view like this. Here's what I'm having for breakfast. Just a nice little banana, an apple with some peanut butter. Joey already ate his breakfast of his normal kibble. And I think I'm going to edit a little bit. It's still a little bit chilly, but it's supposed to warm up. This is definitely one of my favorite meals to have in the van just because it's so simple. But I literally just scoop peanut butter on there, slap it on this, and then chomp. Well, it's already 2.30 in the afternoon, and I haven't eaten lunch yet, and I have only been editing. I've been editing all day, and I didn't realize how late it was getting until I was, like, grumbling in my tummy. And so... I don't know, I'm going to figure out something to eat for lunch, but I still have more editing to do. It's still pretty gray. It was supposed to get kind of sunny today, and so I wanted to show you guys around this campsite when it was sunny, but it is supposed to be nice tomorrow too, and it says sunny skies tomorrow, so maybe I'll do more of a tour tomorrow and I'm just going to continue editing, but I'll at least show you what I eat for lunch today. As I'm getting ready to make food, the sun made an appearance, so I'm going to show you my campsite right now. You can kind of see it, but like, check this out, you guys. This is a free campsite. This is Big Fur Public Use Area. I'm in the Owashita National Forest, and this is on the Owashita Lake slash river. Like I said, it is completely free. There is a bathroom up there, and I think tomorrow I'll give you guys more of a tour. I haven't really, like, explored much besides, like, my camp area, so I'm going to show you that right now before I start making food. I don't know whether to consider this dinner or lunch, but I probably won't be eating anything after this. But I am going to be having a sandwich with this, um, this is the peppered... Oh my gosh, tofurkey deli slices. And then um, it's going to be on garlic bread. I have this like weird gluten-free bread that I got from the like market that I went to. They didn't have like regular bread there. I normally would not buy that and I actually really don't like it. But besides the point, I'm going to be putting pickles on it and then having it with this no chicken noodle soup. I feel like I've gotten really lucky with finding these free spots. Like, look at this sunset. You can see somebody like fishing off in the distance.
it's around nine o'clock and I'm about to have a little snack and I figured I would share that with you guys since I'm telling you what I'm eating. So these are some like, I don't know, cauliflower cracker things. They're kind of like a plant-based version of Cheez-Its, but cauliflower. So yeah, I'm going to eat some of these and uh, continue hanging out. I just finished uh, transferring some files for my next videos. And now I'm going to upload a couple things while I watch some more Netflix. I just woke up. Look at how foggy it is out here. It's so crazy. So pretty and cool looking though. So I'm on my way to the bathroom that they have here and I figured I'd show you around a little bit. So there's my site there. And you can see everywhere there's a picnic table. There's another site. That's my only other neighbor. But like, Look at how pretty this land is. It's just beautiful out here. And there's tons of sites, so you could bring like a whole party out here. <laughs> so that brown building down there is the bathroom. And then there's all of these other sites that are like closer to it. However, there was somebody parked over there when I got here, so I didn't want to like go right next to them. So I do have like the spot that's furthest. If you can see my van all the way down there. But I did pick the spot furthest from the bathroom again, but it had the best view. And just like that, the fog has cleared. Look at how beautiful it is today. It's supposed to be really nice in the mid 60s and sunny. We're just gonna go on like a little walk later. I'm not really sure. It looked like there was another public use area, maybe half a mile up the road. So we're gonna go try and check that out. But first I need coffee. So I'm just not realizing as I'm making my coffee and thinking, oh, I really need to get propane because I'll be surprised if I make it through the whole day without running out of my butane propane thing. And uh, I'm realizing that today is Thanksgiving. So by the time you guys see this, it'll be way past Thanksgiving. So happy holidays. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. But tomorrow is the day that I'm supposed to be leaving and I was going to go to Walmart, but it's like Black Friday. I don't want to go to Walmart on Black Friday, but I really need stuff. Like, I really need propane to cook. Or butane, either one, like, will work. And maybe they'll have it at the gas station I go to. But I also need food. <laughs> I don't have a lot of food left. And there's not many things that I can get from the gas station to make meals with. I don't know. I'm just having a little bit of a mental dilemma. <sighs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Got my hammock set up. Ready for some ultimate hang sesh before we go on our little hike. So I'm trying to use up the best daylight hours to charge up my battery. Um, getting ready to eat some lunch here and it's another really simple meal. It is already lunchtime you guys. I didn't eat breakfast or anything. Sorry. All I had was coffee so far. Um, but I'm trying to save all of my the rest of my butane so I am not cooking anything and I'm running really low on food. So don't judge me right now but I'm having an orange with a banana. These are sunflower seeds and then these are the uh, um, cauliflower cheese it things that I showed you yesterday night. And that's going to be my super fancy meal, huh, Joe? But I really do want to use, like, the best daylight hours to get as much juice as I can before we go on a little hike. Probably near, like, sunset time. It is so beautiful, though. We were just hanging out in the hammock for a while, and it's just gorgeous. It's, like, 65 degrees. It's sunny. Oh, it is so nice out. I mean, it's the end of November. I'm just not used to this, you guys, okay? So you'll probably hear me saying that a lot while we go into the desert, but it'll be my first winter without wintry weather. <laughs> and I am so excited for it. 
All right, now I'm going to eat. I'm getting ready to start making dinner and in honor of Thanksgiving I am having a Thanksgiving inspired meal and so I'm getting ready to boil up some water I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes have some gravy I'm making broccoli and then I'm gonna make an open face tofurkey sandwich and then I'm just gonna smother it all in gravy and it's gonna be so good and that's what I'm going to call Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> but hey, for being out in the middle of nowhere by myself with only limited resources, I'd say that's a pretty dang good Thanksgiving dinner. Figured I'd have myself a little fire before the end of my time here. I'm just burning all of the stuff like the, these nomadic boxes. Finally open them, guys. You probably saw that video if you watch my channel. But I'm burning them, and I'm burning all the bags and paper towels that I've used. So we got our bread toasting up over here. I cut these into little slices. If you guys remember, like old school, like school lunches would have this kind of open face, like with the meat and the gravy. <laughs> I guess that's kind of what I'm going for here, but closest I can get to having a turkey dinner. So furkey slices. So I'm mashing up my mashed potatoes here and I'm running out of butane and so I'm not gonna be able to make broccoli. I settled for a can of corn <laughs> instead to go with my Thanksgiving meal. Sounds good to me anyways. Um, and then I'm frying up the meat over here. Oh I can't undo that without knocking it over but you guys get it. Got my uh, gravy ready to go on as soon as it's done. My toasted bread. It's all come together, you guys. It's all coming together. It's come to this, you guys. 
warming up my corn over the fire. Ran out of butane, but at least I got everything else done. I'll show you guys once I put it all together. So after I eat this meal, I'm probably just going to work on the computer a little bit and then probably head to bed. I'm leaving in the morning and heading to another state. So if you're interested, I hope you subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, I'm at the Big Fur Public Use Area in the Washita National Forest. And I'll put the coordinates below in the description box in case you do want to check it out. It's so beautiful and I cannot believe it's free. Just make sure that if you're going to come to bring your own toilet paper and probably some Lysol wipes for the bathroom. It's just so nice. It's right on the lake and it's beautiful and oh man, I just, for a free spot, this is really like really awesome. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!